<laughs> hey, what's up? Uh, you know me. You're already here. That's why I don't have to tell you about me because you wouldn't be here if you didn't know what was going on. But I brought my buddy Austin, and he's a uh, he's an amazing dude. He really is. And we don't have to tell, time to tell you like right now everything that's like so amazing. Yeah, that's Austin Wayfin. Um, but you know how the trade off is. He watches K-pop, and then. He can tell you about like whatever he wants to tell you about. He can, he can tell you First about calls. He can tell you about like a song he wants to check out. He, he can plug whatever he wants. Um, so I'm leaving this off with the song that got me into K-pop. Okay. And uh, it's EXO. Don't mess up my tempo. And I don't know how much more I should say about it. I'm not. I'm just not going to. I think it's better that you don't. Yeah. I get five seconds. Tell me something. Uh, my band's called Universal Side. Check it out. We're on Spotify. Ooh. You, you, if you knew how intoxicated we were, that's impressive. Jesus, I'm drunk. All right, let's go. God knows. I can't believe you got your son in a looking. Oh, I'm in the dark, she's in the night, and I'm in the dark. How do you know? I gotta stare at his thing to make sure like we're actually recording because I'm so scared it's not gonna happen. It looks, like it looks like everything's actually working. Now we can go back. We can go back to being, being into the jam. Alright, yes. Yeah, so Alright, the first thing I thought was this is Daft Punk. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Dude, it's grooving as fuck. Yeah, yeah. But it's quick. Yeah, it's quick. And if you need me to pause, I mean, obviously I have the keyboard. I wish he had a voice pause button in his hand. If you just need me to pause because you want to say something, just smack me. Yeah, yeah. We have to, we have to pause. That sounds like fun. I will, I will smack you. So tell me, tell me why they all do English though. Life for the chorus is that just a That's thing? That's a K-pop thing. That's a K-pop thing. Everybody. Okay, so this is like the first time I've listened to K-pop, yeah. right? So like I haven't heard any. I mean, yeah. like I've like I've seen one video. I couldn't even tell you what it was. Yeah, yeah. It's just a K. It's just it's just yeah, part it, of the thing. Putting English and everything. It's. I mean, it's cool. I like it. I like it. I think. I feel like, like it's more relatable because obviously I don't. I, I wish I did. I don't speak Korean. It's almost. like... So I don't know. Like I don't. I, I hear all the like I see the dance moves and I hear the fucking pitches and it's great. Uh, but I don't understand the words until they get to the chorus. Yeah. Don't mess up my tempo. So it's kind of funny. I'm like, it makes me think of when I was in Japan with my mom and we went to this play. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we went to this play. He was in Japan. And, and uh, we, I, we, neither of us speak Japanese, unfortunately, because, you know, we're dumb American tourists. That's right. And, and American does yeah, not. But, like, thankfully, thankfully, it was, like, a slapstick kind of comedy, yeah. so we, like, we could understand the, like, plot line. Yeah. So it's kind of like that. I'm like, I'm like, all right, I'll see you. I see you. Like, I understand boy bands. I get yeah. it. I get it. And then, oh, like, ridiculous and then they hit the chorus. I'm like, all right, don't miss my tip. But it's clearly, like, I, I assume it's got to be about the, the dancing. You know, it's got to be, like, and don't fuck I'm, too hot, I'm too hot. I'm too yeah, hot. I'm yeah, too yeah. hot. Don't you fuck know? out my time. <laughs> What's funny is this is the first video that got me into it when I knew about anything, which is, of course, like it's a video so people can right. watch it. I watch it. Actually, I would say about every two months, I go back and watch my reaction to this video. <laughs> really? Because it's the video that got me into it. You guys it. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't know anybody. And right now, I actually know, I know every motherfucker. How many people are in this group? At this point, probably nine. Nine? Nine? Probably. God. That's crazy. Maybe eight. Maybe eight. I mean, that's a lot, though. It's strong with 12. What do the Backstreet Boys have? Zero. <laughs> five? Like five, though? I think five. Yeah. I think five was the magic number for yeah. people in the 90s. Yeah. But, so and, and everyone in this group is a murderer of either... Uh, everyone, it's, dude, it's like an RPG game. Everyone in this group is... It's like high stat. Yeah, but they're either a murderous rapper, yeah. dancer, or singer. 
Or apparently a few things, actually, because all these guys seem like they can dance. All right, let's start it back. Let's, let's start it back. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. This is a Jack Buck shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. okay. You can go look at my shit from like yeah, November. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. Oh. I get that. Can I just fuck up? Oh, uh, yeah. It seems like it. Can you just plug it back in? Yeah, I think so. We're going to find out. I mean, you're on this mic too. So. Yeah, we'll find yeah, out. We'll find Worst out. Worst case, we'll just go to that. Yeah. Or we'll have nothing. Continue. But yeah, no, but that's what exactly what it is. Like, that's the. That's the. Da- that is yeah. the. Da- yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they even like. The, the dude looked like it. Yeah. You know, like he had the golden helmet kind of thing. Okay, hold on. We're talking to ourselves for a second. This is still, you know, us here, but we're talking to each other. Is that, this is the thing I need to get used to. I need to get used to, which is that, like... What? It doesn't matter if this fucks up. Because we're doing this. It's right? True. True. If it turns out, if it turns out in the morning mm-hmm. that all this footage is dead... Yeah. Oh, well, we're just not going to do it? Anymore? Yeah, I'll just I'll just come back. Yeah, we'll just do more. I'll just do more. Yeah, so we're like we're kind of going like, well, we're just here because it's fun. Yeah. We hope it's here. Don't mess up my tempo. I don't know the words, but it sounds so fucking good. Yeah. That's the melody. All yeah. right, back to EXO. Anyhow, I like EXO. EXO. <laughs> uh. Oh. When he goes, don't slow it up for me, and they slow it up. It's the actual entire song is in a three structure thing where it's like slow, medium, fast. And when he says, don't slow it up for me, they go into his eyeball. This, Jason, we'll go back up 10 seconds. Because don't yeah, slow back it up. Back it up. I want to see that. We're actually in, the, in his eyeball. Okay. <laughs> Like clearly all of them can dance. Yeah. Like nine dudes in the band, but they're all like clearly there's 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 scenes that yeah, dance. Yeah, so like yeah. rapper, singer, whatever, but like But there is a strong all like, Kai, like Kai yeah. is like a strong dancer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like yeah. Yeah, yeah. And my favorite is Chaniol, which I didn't know when I saw this, but he's the rapper when they first started rapping, he was the first guy started rapping. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What's the context? <laughs> that, was, that was him when he got context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Chin. It's all bad. Yeah. That's for y'all. That's for y'all. He's he doesn't know Chin. I, I, I don't. I love Chin. That's for first time I'm honestly seeing K Acapella, bitch. It's acapella time. Are you ready for acapella? I'm so people? ready, dude. I was, I was expecting it. Hey. Oh, 
positive. Did That's you hear the? Did you hear the? Did you hear the the spring though? Like the the bed. It's the bed. It's the yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah. Er, no er, thing. Er, it's er, the, er, yes. Er, 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 yes. <laughs> In the whole thing, we can, we can, we can, the whole time. The best that's some '90s there. shit, though. That's some '90s, like that's some old R and B '90s kind that's, of shit. Yes, that's the, That's what they're doing. Yes. Yeah, I love that kind of shit though, because like I mean, like well, I grew up it's on that shit. Dope as fuck. I mean, like that kind of shit. Like it's funny. It's funny. It's like. When I say I grew up on that shit, I mean like you that kind of shit. Well, well, I mean like, well, like it's not like my dad or my mom introduced me to it. I mean, my dad and mom introduced me to a bunch of different music. My dad introduced me to Elton John and like Billy Joel and all these other crazy people. Right, right. But like that kind of shit would randomly show up on the radio, yeah. right? And I would just fuck with it. Yes. I was all about it. Yes. Even though I was like, I was like six years old, seven years old. So I didn't know any, I didn't know what they meant. You like literally, felt good. So, just so, felt right. so the first time right. I heard, <laughs> the certain, first time I heard Without Me by Eminem. <laughs> Wait, Stop. really? No, 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 no. The first time I heard without me with Eminem, he was like, none of you idiots, Dr. Dre's dead. He's, he's locked in my basement. I thought, I pictured a real doctor in a lab coat that said Dr. Dre. I had like this visual image in my head and he was a doctor and he was just uh, dead in a basement. I had no idea who these people were because I was too young. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god! It's like it's like fucking listening to Genuine, dude. Like listening to Pony. Oh, like when you, you like were a kid. It, my uh, pony. Da, da, saddle. It's strange. Uh, I don't know the words. Yeah, I've never known the words. That's the best part about it. I've never, I've never known the words. But the everybody well, knows, my pony. Everybody knows my me- everybody knows the melody. Yeah. Something's something. It's a dope song. Yeah. My pony. More than words. It's strange. <laughs> Riding my pony. I'm just a bachelor. Alright, so looking for a partner, partner, someone. No, this is your fault. This is your fault. I'm sorry, I've been drinking. I've been drinking. I'm sorry. No, 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 you're good. You're good. I got got into it. I got into it. No, that's good. I'm just telling them since we don't realize because, like, context timeline is that there was no point earlier that I told you that he was a singer. No, that was not mentioned. He's a he's a fantabulous singer. He's got a beautiful voice, and that's why he's singing right now, super drunk with me. I am I'm pretty wasted. I'm not. Gonna we lie. did not tell you at all, and anyone here. But here's the cool part. God, there's no one here that doesn't want to be here because this video is so long. Right. The only people who are here at this point. Yeah, they, they just, wanted they, to see yeah, it through. They wanted to, they wanted to see it through. They um, wanted to see it through. Austin plays bass. He's really good at it. Uh, but Thanks, he's man. also a, a fantastic singer, and then you just saw that like we didn't. Mm-hmm. Just, I actually sang, so I sang tonight. Uh, my buddy, my coworker Brad. It was a it was a super random spur of the moment thing, but I sang Tennessee Whiskey by with, Chris Stapleton. With who? With my buddy Brad. My no, but I mean, where is that? With the at Rooka Pond. It was just a random spur of the moment oh. thing after AppFest finished. Like so, after the main stage finished, uh, I just did it at the Rooka Pond on the on the on the um, porch. But it was fun. I love that song too. I love Chris Stapleton. Yeah, his, he actually, awesome. he's one of the reasons I've kind of been getting back into country is because he's got such a killer voice. I actually, okay, to be fair, to be fair, we're both pretty intoxicated. Yep, yep, but yep, let's yep. also be fair that I also warned him this moment would come. Yep. Uh, we're at the end. And like 87% of the people, mm-hmm. even the ones who love us. I've turned it off. Yeah, they're, they're already gone. It's gone. Yeah, yeah. But I said. Do you want to play rock, paper, scissors, people who've stayed? All right, ready? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. I don't know if you picked. I don't know if you picked scissors. I picked paper. So that's so awesome. You have to. You have to guess that. That's up to you. You know. I hope you play it honestly. We can play again. Ready? All right. Ready? Here we go. Wait. Best two out of three. No. Best two out of three. Best two out of three. That's the rules. That's the rules. On shoot. All right. On shoot. If you faded this far in the video, on shoot. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. All right. If you did rock, I beat you, and we can go out of three. If you did scissors, you beat me, and you don't need to keep watching. So, one more time. <laughs> <Huh. laughs> before you do what you're going to do, you, <laughs> you forget about this, the, the uh, shameless self-promotion. Oh, yeah. Check out my band, Universal Psy. Um, no, but we have not picked out anything. Uh-huh. No, don't say check out my Universal Psy. No, I mean, check it out. No, they're not going to, and I'm not going to. Oh, I, I love mean, you, I, I, I get, Yeah, it. I know. Yeah, you know, the question is, yeah, yeah, yeah. tell them a specific, go listen to this song on this thing, or go but watch this video on listen, this YouTube. Listen to Hopsecutioner. That's our most popular song on Spotify. There and, you go. Uh, Hopsecutioner. I sing, I sing pretty good on it. He does. 
a little bit, 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 just a tiny bit, tiny. Yeah, it's pretty good. Just a little bit. People love it. Yeah. That's what I was gonna do. All right, now shout out to Steve. That was you who still watch the Steve video. Is I was waiting for him to say Obstitutionary, and he just like didn't. Yeah. And I was like trying to feed him. <laughs> I was trying to like yeah, force yeah, yeah. the song. Because that's the song. That's the song. And he was like, "House of what?" I was like, "Dude, come on." Pops a laugh a lot. <laughs> Like, why would you not recommend? Uh, oh, God. All right, let's do this. We got, like, 20 seconds. Less. We got less than 20 seconds. Oh, no, the song's over. Yeah. No, it's, yeah, it's finished. Well, play it. Play it. I want to see the end of that. So they ride away on motorcycles out of his eyeball. <laughs> oh. Did he have the Infinity Stone? He got that cube. He had, he, had, he, had the, he had the space cube. Yeah, I'm going to stop that over there. Uh, I don't... I. This is the funniest part. You just you you just gotta be real. But I have no idea if like anything broke. Whatever. Fuck it. Uh, and let's uh, I'm gonna say see you later in Korean. Dagwayo, Dagwayo. That's Austin. Austin is uh he doesn't have to speak Korean. And and my Korean is terrible. Like I'm sure it just sounds like a South. <laughs> it's better than mine. I I was gonna well, try. No. I was gonna try to copy you, but honestly, I'm glad I didn't because it no. would have been terrible. They're just gonna be like uh, southeastern people shouldn't be speaking Korean. Probably the way you say. It. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. But we're. Um, I love y'all. I bet he loves you too. Honestly, this has been fun. I enjoyed it. Is yeah. it not crazy? Yeah, it's pretty great. It's, it's pretty. Pretty, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I don't actually save this usually on videos. Okay. I intend to do like another one with you like right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah, yeah. For, which, which hold on, for you guys is probably five to seven hours from now. That's fair. You know, editing and, and publishing and shit. Yeah. Uh, yep. But I intend to go pee outside off the porch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and we're gonna uh, see you. With uh, this silly ass room microphone thing, because I love y'all. Like I know you guys, and I love you. I think Austin's like caught off guard. Um, I was super caught off guard yeah, by that. There's nobody, uh, and there's no one mean left at this point. Like we're just chilling. I out. just like honestly, like I think about when I'm on YouTube videos, and if I make it past a certain minute, I'm amazed. And <laughs> this has like been a 15 minute long video. We've been ad libbing for so long. Yeah, it's like eighteen minutes. And my thing is, also, I think Austin's oh, a beautiful person. God. And I can, I'll say this. I can say this to you. If you think he's not beautiful, you're, bitch, please. You're, yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. It turns out that whatever like math you're running is incorrect. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go and um, hopefully come back. Because I have to, like, beg him to come back because he has, like, a life to get to. And all I do is just sit here and talk to y'all. This is fun, though, man. I've just never done this before, so I've, I'm glad I'm on the show. Is it not fun? It's super fun. Oh. It's super fun. Right, no, I mean, like, it's new. It's exciting. It's new. I've never talked to the internet, so. And, dare I say, not, you know, I'm not, you know, stroking myself. But bro, you talking to, you talking to, like, at least a couple thousand people. I mean, like. Uh, that's why I keep waving. I'm like, hey, what's up? Because, right, it's actually more fun. Well, I mean, for me, but yeah. I, think, I think it's for you the same yeah, way. Yeah. It's like, it's actually more fun to just say, oh my God, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Than it is to be like, go check out my thing. Yeah, exactly. You're just like, really? Yeah, yeah. There's and on a that stadium note, of people. On that note, we need to pee in the backyard. Oh my God, the pee so bad. Yep, in I'm the like backyard the, specifically. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll see you. I love you. I, I love y'all 100%. And... And it's got like say, an inspirational note. Yeah. A certain percent of you, a certain percentage of you are probably having a uh, really shitty day, and uh, that shit will not last, dude. It will not last. Your shit will get better in a day or two, or maybe a week. Fuck, dude. It might be a month or two, but don't, don't, don't. Let me, let me, let me say this. Actually, I was thinking about this yeah. recently. Mindfulness. It's not a Monday. It's not Monday. It, it's at least not here. Monday. <laughs> it's not Monday anywhere. Actually, I'm thinking about it. Anyhow, my this is something I was thinking about. Mindfulness Mondays. Um, watch yourself talk. You know. Uh, that's the best piece of advice I think I've ever gotten. I got like how you talk to yourself. Yeah, no, like, that's what I mean. When I got from when I was I used to um, see a psychologist for a little bit, and uh, I'm very open about it always because yeah. I think it helps people's experiences and their personal understanding. Yeah, watch yourself talk. You know, like when you are beating yourself down, you're saying I'm not good, I'm a piece of shit, I'm not beautiful, I'm all these things. Yourself, your your um, your subconscious takes that literally. Yeah. So. That I mean, like I do it. I do it myself. And it's really helped me. You, when you're like that, when you're feeling like that, and you're noticing you're like that, if you're self-aware, 
you got to just realize that you're saying those things to yourself and try to switch the dynamic. So like what I do for myself is I, like when I catch myself and I'm saying like, oh man, I feel like I'm a piece of shit. I say, no, no, I'm not a piece of shit. I'm actually working really hard and That's I, right. because right. I'm comparing myself to other people I see on social media. And people like you. That, that gives me a, a skewed vision of where I'm at. Dude, you motherfucker, know? I love you. Yeah, I love you too, brother. I love enjoying this a lot. Yeah. But like, no, mindful, mindfulness, man, it's, it's the key. So, uh, you were telling me a story a little bit earlier about one of your viewers that was having a shitty day and you were giving her, or yeah. him, a personal shout out. I can't yeah. remember who, yeah. but, uh, yeah, man, I think, uh, it's all love. Yeah, and we didn't even get to uh, BTS shit, which is another band, uh, but a big message, which is, I, I found really inspirational after, like, digging through the stuff, because it's, like, it seems so, um, you know, bubblegummy on, on the surface. Right. Uh, but the only band I see doing this, launching a message of, um, and not just launching, they already did it, they already completed the tour, mm-hmm. of of love yourself. Dude, I mean, like, it's, a, it's the thing, okay, love here's, yourself, man. here's the thing, as a person who's, I, I know this is a ridiculously long video, so we're, like, talking to, like... 0.05% of people at this point. We're just have, talking to each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're talking to each other at this point. Maybe like, three of y'all. Maybe, cool. maybe three at this point. But like, for real, it sounds dumb. Like it does. It sounds like it sounds like Which cliche. Part sounds no, dumb. no, no. I mean like the, the love yourself stuff. It sounds cliche. It oh, sounds it all these things. It does. But, but you have to. But have no, to. but like, well, the thing is, is that like, it's just like, it, it's cliche because it's been told so many times. Right. There's a resounding truth between, like, that's what, the, that's the thing about cliches. You like, you have to look at it like that. You have to look at it in the sense of like, okay, why is it a cliche? Because Because it's it's been said so many, well, it's because it's been said so many times. It's been said so many times, people got tired of it. Why was it said so many times? Because it's fucking true. It is true. You know, those kinds of things. Like when you, I mean, just think about it. You're like, really just, I mean, like, and and like, and and here's the beautiful thing. Because we're talking to people across the world. Obviously we're talking about K-pop. That's how this whole video started. That's how this whole video started. Every culture has their own sayings. Like there, I mean, I only know the ones I grew up with. Right. You know, like I'm sure there, there's some wonderful Korean sayings. I mean, there, I mean, it's the whole world. We're talking, I mean, <laughs> hundreds of countries, yeah. you know, that all and have like, their own culture and all have their own sayings and like their own cliches. But like the point is that, you know, well, the point is first off, we're drunk and talking and we've had a really long video. <laughs> but secondly, that, uh, you know, like it, it really is it's something that it's something to consider. Like, why is it a cliche? What is the what is the central purpose behind it? You yeah, know? what's that that central nugget of truth that yeah, we all yeah, I mean, like, it's, we all deal with? It's, sur- it's survived time to this long. You know? Some of us we just get uh, you know, like we talk about this, uh, you know, every like year or so uh, because we bump into each other that way. Is that like both busy people, man? We yeah, just which is that out. like there is some. Um, real sadness to existence yeah absolutely and there's yeah. some real contemplation yeah. about your shit but then another you realize well, like it's not as it's like okay we do we're all gonna fucking die yeah but we actually have we actually have people that fucking love us yeah, and exactly. that's dude like uh, not that's why i ran into you tonight yeah but that's why i, that's I why love we ran you into each other and like tonight. i love yeah. to have you here yeah yeah also i was just i mean like to follow up on that dude i mean like the good, I mean, like, again, it's a, it's kind of a cliche, but it, I mean, it is, it's just a straight cliche, but I mean, at the same time, like you have to have balance. Life is just balance. So like, is, you can't just is. have, if you have it's all true. good times, you don't appreciate good times. My pre- my professor said, yeah. uh, I said on my video a couple of back and my professor passed, but he's amazing. Is, um, all sunshine makes a desert. There you go. Which is so, all, if all you had all day was just sunshine all day. It would be dehydrated no rain, desert. Yeah. It would be desert. Yeah, be desert. You have to have rain. See, that's you have be- to have the off season. See, that's beautiful. You that's a great to. way. That's a great way and to describe it. And he was about playing music, which I think is also a good instrumental too. It's like everyone's focused on playing well. Yeah. It's like sometimes uh, if all you do is play well, that's the equivalent of all sunshine. Yeah. You need to actually have inconsistencies in your playing intentionally. Well, you need to also just have, you just need to have feeling in your playing. Yeah, you, you know, like, live. I mean, like, honestly, like, even like live. when I play shows on, on tour, sometimes I don't feel like I play very well. But at Not the same sure. time, when I look back at some of those shows, I think about like, well, first off, the recording usually sounds better than I thought it did. <laughs> There's usually that. But yeah. secondly, it's also like, man, that, I mean, like, I used that sadness and I fueled it through the song, you know, hundred percent. And that it, it, it sometimes that it creates. I mean, some of the most beautiful. Look at Adele. 
Well, some of the most beautiful me, music Adele is, is, is song has been. Let over me tell you uh, something that's like the least academic thing ever is I'm about to piss in my. Pants. We gotta go. So we we, gotta, we gotta have go. to go. But we're gonna talk on the next video. Yeah. And uh, I love y'all. Don't buy y'all, which means I'm gonna see you later in Korean. Thank you, yo. And that's Austin. I'm not going to uh, try to say what he just said because Universal I would bash you guys the shit out of it. Side. I'm not sure what links we're going to put below. We're going to figure out something, uh, whatever, you know, Spotify. Or I hope you check it out. Or something. Mm -hmm. uh, be before you leave, we'll figure out what you want me to put below. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because we're in the future right now. This is like a day from now. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah. That's it's, fun. It's, we're time traveling. Yeah. And, uh, from the future. I love this, dude. This is a very genuine, amazing, amazing... I mean, you can't make this shit up because this is my first time ever doing it. So this is why it's 20... Is it 26 minutes and he's long? Right, hold on. 26 <laughs> minutes long. Are you kidding me? We've been talking but, to this camera for 26 minutes. But let me also put it in context. Those of you all that uh, know Josiah and love Josiah... He knows Josiah. We were, oh, yeah. we were just there. We were Josiah was running Just South hanging somewhere. out with him. We're mm -hmm. all together and... Uh, We've managed to meet some really good people, and I'm I'm really happy to to have Austin here, and and it's super late. Dude, I appreciate I, I, I appreciate said, you having me, man. I said like we're let's just do this because it's gonna be fun. It'd be fun. It is. And he probably it wants is. to go home right now, but I'm not gonna let him. I want to go to Waffle House. We're not gonna do that. Right I want to go to Waffle House because I'm least hungry. Another video, but I'm gonna. Go, if uh, you come to America, go to Waffle House. Seriously, it's an experience in the South. You should drink till uh, you, one in the morning before you do that. You should okay. drink till it's let's, three in the morning, and then you should go to Waffle House. Right, let's say goodbye and then get back on it. I love you guys. You're welcome to... This yeah. is fun. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.